Hi, Kevin here. Nice to see you again. Well, today I wanted to bring you on a very brief tour of the little herb garden. I want to show you what's growing there, what's in bloom there. And then afterwards, we can return to this kitchen and whip up a cocktail. Yeah, so here we are in the little herb garden. I made this garden in, I think, 2005 or 2006, just as a place to grow a few vegetables, maybe some flowers. And then when this garden was so successful, I built a much larger garden way up on the hill that has 12 beds. Anyway, the herb garden is really easy to maintain. So these boxes, or raised beds rather, are made from just inexpensive pine. And I find that pine can last, oh, from five to 10 years. It's much more durable than, than people think. Anyway, this is the salad bar, all you can eat. And I have been eating a lot of lettuce from this bed. This is red oak leaf lettuce and green romaine. And in this bed over here, I have common chive, which is uncommonly delicious. And it's in bloom right now. These flowers are actually delicious if you sprinkle them on soups or in muffin batter really terrific, very versatile. And of course the chives make the best pesto in the world. In fact, I would say if you've never tried chive pesto, you haven't really lived. And I do have that recipe for chive pesto here on YouTube. So I will post the link to that in the description box below. Unless I forget, in which case, please feel free to remind me. In this bed, I have a lot of dill and some flat leaf parsley, which I like to dry and store for the winter. Of course, I enjoy it fresh as well. And then I have on this bamboo teepee trellis, peas. And if you look right here, you'll see a flower, which means we will have peas before long. And in the fourth bed, I decided to plant flowers instead of edibles. These adorable numbers are dwarf zinnias. Yellow pink, orange, white. Yeah, I think they're really cute. If flowers can be cute. And behind the dwarfs are the normal size zinnias, which unfortunately are not yet in bloom because I keep pinching them back so they will branch out. And behind the zinnias are very tall snapdragons. This is the rocket variety. It gets really tall. And of course, they are not in bloom yet, but they will be very soon. And when they are in bloom, we will have to visit this garden again. And let me just show you the view here. between the two urns. I don't know if you can see, I'll try to hold the camera up. Yeah, between the two urns is the entrance to the Serpentine Garden, which we visited in our last garden tour video. Let me show you some of the trees. Yeah, I planted all of these trees. Here's Thuja Green Giant up here. Okay, 
Well, I think it's time to go back into the kitchen to enjoy our summer cocktail. All right, we've returned to the kitchen and our cocktail du jour is a strawberry daiquiri. Now, this is a frozen strawberry daiquiri. And the first thing you need is some light rum. And I will be using coconut rum because I happen to like the flavor. Just measure out four and a half ounces. That's slightly more than half a cup. And put it in the jar of a blender. Then take a half to one cup of fresh strawberries. And I cut these in half for absolutely no good reason. Add them to the blender. And then add 10 ounces of frozen strawberries. This is a powerful blender, so I did not chop the frozen berries first. No need to. And then take a lime. And then add the juice of the lime to the blender. In the comments section below, let me know if you too are madly in love with the scent of lime. I love lime even more than I love lemon. And I really love lemon. All right, then we're going to blend this. The nice thing about using frozen strawberries is that you do not have to use ice. So the drink is not at all watered down. It's got pure strawberry flavor. Here I am. Nice and thick. That's one for you. And one for me. And enough for seconds. Julie, I'll put a little more in your glass. And if you want to thin this out, just add more rum. And to garnish these drinks, I'm going to use a slice of lime. And I thought I had a couple of strawberries all ready to go. Yes, they are over here. What you do is just take a whole fresh strawberry and put a slit in the center. And that's it. Have a look at this beautiful, beautiful drink. And I think we should take our drinks out side and maybe enjoy them under the pergola. Okay, I tried to film outside just now, but it's really too dark. So we will have to enjoy our cocktails right here in the kitchen to your health. This is pure heaven and it's not too sweet. Just pure strawberry and lime. And I like that little hint of coconut from the coconut rum. I'll post the recipe for this frozen strawberry daiquiri over on my website and I will link to the website in the description box below. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode and the little tour of the equally little herb garden and I will see you very soon. Take good care of yourself. Bye for now.